Hi, I'm Craig Mitchell-Smith and today I'm going to show you how to install the um, poppy that you probably just bought. Um, it uses standard household materials, all available at any big box hardware store. We start with half-inch copper pipe. We want to have at least two feet of the copper in the ground. So I use a three pound ball. And that's not going anywhere. Now, whenever you strike the copper, you make a dimple flat on the top which we have to remove. The way to do that is with a pipe cutter also available just at any big box store. You open it up and you simply tighten it a little bit each time you rotate the piece. And it neatly and cleanly snaps off the piece of copper. Then if I could have the copper coil This is half, this is called half inch copper pipe. This is half inch um, flexible coil copper, um, which is nice and flexible, so we can manipulate this in ways that we can't, this material. So, basically, I like swoops and whoops and wiggles in the piece. So, I'm going to cut myself a section of this. Same way, just rotate it down. And half inch copper tubing fits neatly inside of the half inch copper pipe. And you just push it in until it feels secure. Then you get to have fun. Now, if I can have the closed up butt, yes, that is. When you get your poppies and unpack them, you'll notice they have um, a galvanized screw attached to them. This simply fits in the half inch pipe tube. And then you need a big old pair of pliers. And so I don't put too many marks on the copper. I've just taken tape and I put tape on the teeth of the pliers. And all you do then is squeeze down. And what you're doing is actually putting threads on the inside of the copper pipe. So then the piece just screws in. And then it's like flower arranging. You get to choose where you want the piece. I like that one as it is. Uh, so the next, I'll grab it, this one. I've chosen these black magic poppies that go with this black Sambucus. I have had these pieces outside in Michigan winters for five years and they've survived the weather just fine. Don't have to worry about freezing them um, because the pieces drain water. What actually breaks the coil, please. Um, what actually breaks glass is the water expanding. Glass doesn't care about being cold. And what I like to do is make the flowers in relation to each other. I want them to look almost as if they're having a conversation and the fires. That's it. You can adjust them any way you want them, take your time, you can change it over the years, you can add to it, enjoy them.